Caden, thanks for talking to us. You've just signed a new contract at the football club. How do you feel? Yeah, uh, delighted to, to get it done. Um, you know, obviously with the injury and, and negotiations, um, we've been ongoing for, for a little bit, but mm. you know, just happy to get everything everything sorted and, and sign on the dotted line. How have the last few weeks or, or couple of months been for you? Because you mentioned the injury, but you were also getting you know right towards the end of the contract. Yeah, um, you know, it's obviously a turbulent time anyway. You know, mm. the end of the season, end of a contract, um, then the injury on top of that. It's uh, yeah, it's it's been tough, um, but yeah, no, I think. We've had, you know, we've had positive discussions um, from the time that I got into the team with mm. the, the gaffer and, and the football club. So, yeah, it, it all happened um, fairly quickly after the injury. Um, you know, we knew that we wanted to stay. Um, the club knew, knew that they wanted to keep me on. Um, so, yeah, it was just a case of getting things mm. um, sorted out and, and tied up, yeah. Before we look at, you know, your aims for next season and when you return to action, how do you sum up the previous campaign? Obviously, the disappointment of the injury. Yeah, it was um, you know it was obviously a tough start um, mm. personally and and for the team. Um, you know, it was frustrating. I was working hard all season, working hard pre season. Um, I just wanted to be out there to to help the lads, and you know I thought that I could add something to the team. But you know, unfortunately, opportunities didn't come um, as often as I'd like mm. um, at the beginning of the season. But yeah, you know, bided my time, worked hard, and thankfully got my chance. And you know, I suppose that's why I'm sat here today because. You know, when my chance came, um, you know, I took it. How was that working for the manager when you came back in? Yeah, um, loved every day of it. To be fair, um, you know, I remember having a conversation with him on on the very first day. I think he was at the uh, at the training ground, and you know, he was he was just so positive, and you know, I was looking forward to, to getting on the grass um, straight away, and, and just wanted to to you know show him what I could do, and yeah, it's um, it's been a good time. How important is that, Caden, for not just any footballer, but you in, in this scenario as well, that you have that relationship with the lads and, and the manager as well? Yeah, I think it's the uh, it's the main thing that saw us through Accrington. Uh, the year we won the league, you know, there were some top teams in there, um, you know, some teams with bigger budgets, uh, bigger fan bases, bigger clubs, but, you know, we had such a good rapport within the club, uh, within the lads, with the change of room, uh, with the manager, and, and, you know, if we can replicate and, you know, get it even better here, then, you know, there's no reason why we can't be successful. Mm. And plenty of moments under the manager and, and at the start of this year with a smile on your face and how much does that mean to you and, and your family as well? Yeah, I think I've always touched on it. Um, you know, I play my best football when I'm when I'm happy, when I'm smiling, mm -hmm. um, you know, things when things are going well. And yeah, I think, you know, it was good to, to kind of get that smile back, get that, um, you know, get that good feeling back. I think, you know, my family had missed it. Mm. Um, I'd missed it for, for too long. So, yeah, it was, um, it was very good. You mentioned uh, your family enjoying it as well. When, when you're on the pitch and you're being asked the responsibilities and the role, I know you, you don't like to give too much away about your tactics, but you enjoy that as well, don't you, that aspect? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm always one to kind of do what the team needs. Mm. Um, you know, just do my bit, whether that's, you know, I have to sacrifice you know, goals at times or you know, whatever else. Um, you know, I'm just happy to, to be out there and, and help the lads. Um, so, yeah, whether that's pressing high up the pitch uh, that we've saw in a couple of, of games mm. or running in behind and, you know, creating space, creating chances, creating goals for other lads, um, you know, I'm just happy to be out there. And you've also mentioned the success you had at Atkinton and I'm sure you're as buzzing as the rest of the lads. You want to achieve things next season as well. Yeah, 100%. It's... Um, you know, I think it's, it's made it even more frustrating, you know, this time of year is whenever, you know, the season's finished prematurely and you haven't had the success that you want, um, you know, watching the playoffs is always a tough one, um, you know, seeing teams in there that, you know, you're better than, um, you know, the lads obviously went away to you know, a couple of the teams and, and did well. Um, the teams in the playoffs at the minute, so yeah, it's it's hard to hard to watch, but you know, it just gives, you know, a bit more uh, motivation going mm. into next year. Before we look at uh, next year as well, before you get to it, you've got a big summer ahead and, and how is the rehab going? Yeah, it's going well. Uh, really positive. I'm, you know, pleasantly surprised how, how strong it feels already. Um, mm. You know, we were only kind of seven weeks uh, post-operation and you now I'm able to do a lot of things. I want to, you know, I, I want to do more than I'm probably, you know, should be doing at the minute, but yeah. that's... Um, 
that's always the case when you you know you're coming back from an injury. Um, but yeah, no, I'll take my time and you know by the time the season's come um, comes round, I'll be ready for it. Have you had any early thoughts about from a personal point of view what you'd like to achieve with the club next season and and even further on? Yeah, hundred um, percent. You know, I, it doesn't take a genius to work out what what I'll be aiming for. Yeah. Um, you know, I'll, I'll keep my cards close to my chest for now. But yeah, you know, I just want to be successful. I want to be. Um, happy. I want to be enjoying my football. You know, I want to be running around out there. Um, you know, fans cheering and everyone smiling, and you know, being able to to put on a good show for everybody.